Hey everyone, this is Cindy, and I am here with another flip through of another Christmas journal. I'm on a roll finally once I got started. Um, this one I made out of an Amazon packaging. I think I showed it in another video, and it turned out great because I use this thicker fabric. I call it upholstery fabric. It's really, I'm not sure that's what it is, but it's definitely thicker than your regular cotton. And um, anyway, so I covered that, uh, the front with that, and then also the inside's got fabric. I'll show you in a minute. The cover has this cross stitch picture that I got at a thrift store and I took it out of the frame and glued it on here and then just covered it with Rick Rack. And then the Merry Christmas is just some wooden elements I got at a thrift store a long time ago and I painted. Mary was already painted, Christmas wasn't, so I painted it green. It's got a, a fairly old ribbon on here to tie it, but the color would just perfect match, wouldn't it? I've got two charms. Um, a bell and a candy cane and there's some sort of construction going next door you might hear some things thumping around I'm not sure i think they're working on their fence again so anyway uh, measures six by nine i think is what i tried to get yep pretty close and nine yes so okay so let's look at it inside cover i had this green fabric and I think the video I did was making this pocket and it's just two uh, different fabrics and I was hand stitching the eyelid on there and then I put cardstock behind it so it's thicker. And then I have a little cluster here of a real postage stamp and some lace and some little things, little odd things. Uh, two journaling cards, that's an index card with strips. They're like the... Um, Oh, those branding strips on papers. Some of them are. And then I put this truck on there. I cut that out of a, like a Christmas mailer, you know, like a advertisement you get in the mail. And then this one is just a Santa image. I've got that from somewhere. It's thicker. I'm not sure. And that is from, I don't know, probably an ornament or something, the packaging. So anyway, and then this um, paper is sparkly scrapbook paper i don't know if you can see the sparkles or not but it's pretty thick so i made it my signature cover and on this side we have a pocket made out of a it was a banner that i got one of the dollar stores and had several of these in a line with i think ribbon or something so i just took this off put it behind and put it on top of some card stock and made it thicker because it's just burlap but it wasn't very thick so it makes a great tuck okay um, this is from the Christmas story. It's a game, but definitely had to include that. This is one of those envelope type, um, I don't know if they have a name or not, but it's scrapbook paper folded B. <clears throat> Sometimes it folds all the way out and you can journal on the whole thing. Folded to be an envelope. Let me finish my statement. And, but this one on the flap, I put it up and glued it and made a, a pocket out of it. And I put this playing card in there. Uh, Santa and I have writing space on the back. Actually, this is the um, front of the box that the playing cards came in. Okay. And this two from sticker I put on some cardstock so it wouldn't be sticky and use it as a closure. All right, we have a Christmas card here. Just the colors were great. Put a little fabric slow stitch there. This is, oops, I forgot to put something in that pocket, but you know, I've got a tag right here. This is a double pocket, one here and one there. And it's kind of hard to see, but <laughs> they're both there. So just two scrapbook papers, and this is a um, journaling card, music paper with napkin over it, and it's got blank paper on the back, and I stitched around it, just a scrap of something. So it's got lines on it, so I included it, and then we'll put this in that pocket there. Okay, this paper is actually wrapping paper. It's really thick, and it's got the squares on the back where you can cut it, but makes great little places to write. An old sheet of music. I heard the bells on Christmas Day, and then a little town of Bethlehem. This I have a um, scrap paper pad I bought last year, and this is a page from that. And then this is just a bunch of scraps, clustered, uh, claws, rather, um, and I cut it to be a pocket and then I just did some crazy stitching on it and we have here a journaling card cut in half with edge punchings and I put a little cluster on there it makes a little booklet this is um I think I'm not sure where that came from actually is it something I printed or uh, maybe <laughs> and another index card I put a little cluster on 
things in my stash is what a lot of this stuff is from. This one's not. I made it new this year. It's the same sort of thing as what we've already seen. It folds out, except this one has a little pocket here, and I put this little collage journaling card in there, and, and then it's got a notepad here, and you know, I can't remember who made these. Ugh. Somebody made these, and oh man. I saw that, watched the video, and I thought, oh, that's fun. So I went and made some. I can't remember who it is. I'm sorry. A uh, Christmas card. And then, of course, you can write here. And it had that great wreath on it. This is flocked paper. I got it at one of it, I know it was at a Just a Buck store that was going out of business. Because I thought, oh, man, I should have bought all they had of that red flocked. It was 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. When I went back, all they had was a package of pink. Well, I got that, too. So anyway um i had a bunch of border stickers so you'll see them on the pages throughout here like there's one there's one there i didn't even mention them there's a little bit there this is old scrapbook paper i've had forever another collage journaling card is it a booklet no it's just a card and it's been stitched around and this actually is a red envelope that the flap is here and I just put these um, cupcake holders on it, and that happens to be upside down, but it doesn't matter, I don't think. This uh, it was a piece of wrapping paper. I had tried my punch out on it, and it has the snowflakes on it, so I just put it as a little bitty journaling card. Then I had this little bitty scrap, uh, made a little tag out of it, and that North Pole, I have a stamp set um, that those came in. It was here, but now it's not. And on this side, another cupcake holder, um, collaged up tag, and another collage tag. Just different bits and pieces, uh, wrapping paper, and you just never know what's on there. This is a picture from a magazine, um, no, a book, a page from a book. I love the, the plaid and the, it's a wreath, I believe. And then I found this in my stash. It's a, like, um, you know, a thing that you put money in, and like George or Ben's picture would be there. Um, or Andrews, I guess. Um, scrapbook paper left over. I just cut it, made a little tag, journaling card out of it, and then I glued this on to be a pocket. And I have a big supply of these two from tags. I get them at the Dollar Tree and the Dollar General every year. I go through to see what new ones they have. This year, I think I knew I had a bunch, so I didn't buy all of them, but you can definitely find plenty. And they're just ready made tags, and they're pretty, and they come with a little string, so I use them. This is some paper I got at a yard sale or estate sale a long time ago. It's almost like fabric. It's really thick. It reminds me of really super thick interfacing. And it's just got this Christmas, I guess that's a snowflake and with, with gold glitter on it. And I've had this forever. They were in rows and finally I got it all out and I cut it up into be page sizes and it was much more manageable because it was on those rows. Old sheet of, um, it's not a sheet, it's a double page of Christmas music. I think it's Christmas. Yep. Well, it may not be Christmas, but it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know where it came from, something I bought, and it's got the green, so I included it. I think it's Christmas music. Okay, this is a die I have that makes these little bags, and I don't know, I'm sure, is it, it's not a coin thing. It might be a coin thing. I don't know. But anyway, um, I made this out of, like, um, brown paper sack and just collaged different things on there. And just made a tall skinny tag for it. And then when I glued it on, I made it to be like a little belly band. And this is two playing cards that I've glued together with fabric. Made a little spine. Covered up all the images there so you can write. And then just have a little collage of, this is postage stamps and some lace. This is the center of the signature. And I should know whose digital kit this is from. But I've been through so many, and if it's antique paperies and you're out of luck, she is, get, I guess, out of business. I, I don't know. I showed, I talked about her in another video, but I'm not sure if this is hers or not. I should have researched it, but I just used one page. So, um, if I find out when I get on my computer whose it is, I'll add it to the description box. This is a tag I made last year in the Don't Freak Out Before Christmas challenge. That, um, oh gosh, that. I, I always her name escapes me every time I go to talk about it, but she's still doing it. So it's hashtag um, three fifteen. I'm not not sure, but um, if you search junk journals, you can definitely find. Um, I'm sure people talking about it. 
I'm just terrible. I don't ever remember anything. This is something I got at, I think, Salvation Army a long time ago. It's got these Christmas Express mails, and it's like a, for children to write a letter to Santa, and it's, you know, it's just got this image on there, and um, I just include it with the envelope. It's kind of fun. I don't know how many more of these I have left, but I'm including them until they say I can't. And is that what I had in here? Yes. I have that in here. And it's a business envelope that I've, you know, cl collaged around and then do a piece of scrapbook paper here. So, uh, and that, this is made from a box, a, you know, like those Christmas boxes you get to put shirts and stuff in. Um, that's another one of those two from tags. And then here we have an index card with a tab and some, I maybe I should do it that way, clusters. And that Santa probably came from some sort of kit. I wish I could remember. I can hear her voice who did those challenges. All right, well, on the back side of the signature, yes, it was Christmas music because there's God Rest You Merry Gentlemen. What was it on this side? When the Lord of Love was born. Okay. So you're seeing the back sides. This is the book page, and there's the other part of the wreath. Here's another um, pocket made out of just collaged scraps. And on it, I put a um, doily die. You can barely see it. It's in the background. That poinsettia I cut out of, I think a Christmas card with my punch, it's scalloped, and I put a um, die cut doily behind it. We have a fabric cluster here, and this is the two from tag, and a collage journaling card, and just different pictures I picked up from different places. So, Okay, um, this is a paper bag I made out of gift wrap. And I put a napkin on it, and I had these plastic leaves. They're really thin plastic leaves, and my stash forever came from the Just a Book store that was going out of business. So, And they have a little hole in them, so I'm not sure how you're supposed to use them, but I had a red brad, so I put it in there, made it like it could be moved, you know, but it's like holly in, in the leaves. And I covered that brad on the back so it shouldn't interfere with the tag, and here's the tag. Music paper, writing paper on the back. We've got a well tell tab, a um, piece of lace I cut from something. And it, when I was cutting out different pieces, the part left over had these little points. And there was like six of them. I thought, oh, it looks just like a snowflake. So that's kind of my doily snowflake. And then I just have different thing collage. All of it from my scrap, I mean my uh, stash, except the little snowflake there is from a die cut. Some more of those stickers flocked paper and on this side of the greeting card I just made a little tuck out of a scrap of the scrapbook paper and this is a journaling card bits and pieces just collaged all over the place and stitched yeah and just more of those stickers on this side here is the scrapbook paper and I had this notepad and here's the sheet from it and then I had the leftover um, cupcake holder so I just made like a little topper for it this is a pocket I made out of they're like um, project life cards and I just covered it with scrapbook paper and there's the back of it actually that um, graph paper a fabric cluster and a two from tag and um, cut from a, a gift box and here is a homemade file folder Made on lined paper, well tab, well tail tab, and then just some um, things collaged. That Christmas stamp is cut from a Christmas bag I got at Dollar Tree. Music paper, I just put one of these making a list note pad pages on there. This had some branding on it, so I put one of those border stickers across it. This is the other side of the second um, greeting card, and it was from my aunt, and it says, Merry Christmas, Love Mary. And usually I cover that stuff up, but since her name is Mary and it's Christmas, I decided I was keeping it. So more stickers. And this is a pocket made out of a um, napkin, I believe, or tissue paper. And then I made this faux stamp. It's kind of hard to tell because it kind of all blends in, but that Santa was cut from a newspaper, the mailbox with his hat on it. I thought that was cute. So anyway, faux stamp there. And I think I have some sort of little meshy stuff behind it. Um, collage tall tag. And just a collage journaling card. 
see which one goes first. Doesn't matter. Okay. And the back page, this is the back of that paper. I thought that was so pretty. It looks like a doorway with a rose in it. I guess that's what it represents. And this is another one of those um, pockets we made on that challenge, the Don't Freak Out Before Christmas. And this was last year's challenge. I didn't do it this year. Another pocket, I mean envelope. This may be the original flap. I'm not sure. And uh, it's all covered with scrapbook papers and scraps. And I have this just leftover scrapbook paper in there. And this goes in the tuck. And do I have something here? Yes. Um, get in there. This is a cookie recipe. I have a little booklet of them. And I made it into a journaling card just for fun. So anyway, this is the journal. And it will be for, for sale on my Etsy shop. So if you're interested, you might go look. The description and the link is in the box below. So thanks for watching. Bye.